guys, today's video is going to be an August favorites video. It is super early in the morning, but this is the time that I set aside to film, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. I have an extraordinarily long day ahead of me. I work all the way until 10.30 tonight, um, but I set aside the time to film, so I want to sit down and actually film, trying to get better about that, even though it's going to be a super long day. So let's just get into it. First thing I want to talk about is this weird blue patch you see on my arm. You might have seen them in a couple other videos or Instagram posts. You also probably have seen them sitting on my desk in the last few videos. These are little like caffeine patches. They're from a company called Clean Energy Patch. The company did send me these. They sent me seven of them. I've worn, I think, four of them, so there's three more in here. They do come three in a box, but they do have bigger boxes available to purchase online. There'll be a link down below if you're interested. So these guys are latex-free and they're on sports tape, so they really move with you and they don't don't fall off even if you're sweating or whatever. Um, I've worn like, like I said, I've worn four of them and I've only had one fall off before I actually took it off and it lasted I think like six or seven hours so it was almost done anyways. These guys have caffeine, guarna, and cocoa in them. They are super awesome and um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Smoother than coffee, born a natural caffeine, clean energy for up to eight hours. Um, so the reason that I wanted to try these out is actually because I've been trying to cut back on the amount of coffee that I've been drinking, both for my teeth and my kidney stones. I like mass produce kidney stones, but I still drink coffee because I still have these 18 hour days that I like need energy for. So I wanted to go ahead and give these a go. I am absolutely in love with them. Um, you can also wear them just like when you're like going for a run or whatever, that way you don't have coffee sloshing around in your stomach, it's just like eight hours of constant caffeine, so I won't talk about them for that much longer here, I don't want the whole video to be about these, though I probably could do an entire video on them, but yeah, they're super awesome, I really like them, I, you guys know that I've been working a ton this summer, so you know, 18 hour days, 20 hour days, just you know, eight hour days, but I haven't slept at all, getting up at three o'clock in the morning and just put one of these on and it gets you through your day, so. Anyways, that's all about that one. Alright, jumping into the makeup because this is primarily a beauty channel and I don't want to bore you guys with too many other random things, although there will be more of those at the end. Uh, first favorite of this month, which you guys probably heard me talk about in every single video this month, is the uh, 28 color eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics. Specifically, I've been in love with the matte one. I have never had so many matte eyeshadows in these colors that actually work well and blend out nicely and stay all day. Matte eyeshadows, I don't know what it is, they're like, I'm pretty good with like a couple of the browns and a couple of blacks, like mainly like the Naked Basics palette, but I've never had colors in the matte before, and they're absolutely phenomenal. So if you haven't played with matte eyeshadows before in the colors and you want to, this is a great palette. I looked it up on BH Cosmetics site, and it was only $12. I bought mine at Beautycon and it was 8 so I mean it was some of a discount, but I'm sure that they have sales. Going along with the BH Cosmetics palette, I also picked up the... Crown Brush C512 brush uh, while I was at Beautycon, and it is just a tapered blending brush, basically, but it is a super fluffy one, and this is absolutely incredible. I need to order like 10 more of these. I don't know what it is about this specific brush. I don't know if it's like because it's longer than I'm used to, but this blends my crease so well that I need like seven of these, for real. I picked up a new foundation this summer, and I have been wearing it absolutely every day. This is a Rimmel Stay Matte foundation in 103 True Ivory. Um, really thick formula, but if you blend it out with a damp beauty blender, it blends out beautifully, gives a really nice finish, stays all day, and I don't know. I, I seriously have been using the Revlon Color Stay for so long that I just I picked this up on a whim because it was cheap and I wanted a matte foundation that was a uh, more summer color and I absolutely love it, so I wanted to share it with you here. And then speaking of beauty blenders, I have had the same nasty rugged one for years. I wash it every time I use it, and I finally broke down. I bought the two pack for my birthday, so I have two of these, and the other one is dirty because I just finished using it this morning. And then it also came with the jar of soap. The soap is not my favorite, actually. So beauty blenders, yes. Soap, no. I have an eyelash favorite, which is weird for me. I've only started wearing falsies this summer. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies, but specifically, I don't know where they are. I think they might be in my purse. I wanted to talk about the Demi Pixies. The Demi Pixies are like a little bit more like, I'll insert a picture really quick so you can see what I'm talking about, but they're like more like chunky almost. Like they have more like thick points and then thin points and thick points and thin points. And when you put them on it just makes your lashes look so incredibly full. I do love the entire Demi line though. I have the Demi Wispies, the Demi Babies, and the Demi Pixies. Last two things in makeup and then we'll move on to a couple other random things. 
This is the Marc Jacobs lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. It's what's on my lips right now. And then I topped it with the Soap and Glory um, XXL Lip Plumper in like the pinky color that I got at Beautycon. <laughs> I've been trying out like everything that I got at Beautycon, so there's like lots of new discoveries from there. Um, but this one is actually the Sephora gift for my birthday. My birthday was August 15th, and I picked it up a couple days after. I've been wearing this like off and on pretty much every day. It's an incredibly smooth formula. I would never pay this much money for a lipstick. I, I would never buy a full size. But these little sample things are awesome. Um, I did see a new Sephora Give Me Some Lip Pack come out, so I might go pick that up. I think it was like 28 bucks. And th that's like the only way I'll ever do high-end lipstick. Like, I'm sorry, I just, I, w I won't pay the money for it. I don't feel like the formula's that much better than what I already do, and I feel like this color is pretty similar to a few of the other colors I already have in my collection. But because I have the mini and it was my birthday present. I'm not going to complain about it. I love this. And then this one I know you guys have seen on my Instagram if you follow me or in the last couple of my videos. I think I wore this twice this month in videos. This is the new Wet n Wild Color Icon Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in their fall collection. If you don't, if you can't find it in your um, local store, try going online. You can actually order from Wet n Wild's website now. And these are $2.99, so you won't get a sale, but they're only $2.99. The applicator on here is absolutely amazing for liquid lipstick. Like, I wish all liquid lipsticks had this applicator, because it seriously makes it amazing. Like, it's got almost a point to it, so you can actually get crisp lines. And then it's got that, like, um, Jeffree Star type packaging where it clicks. Oh, makes me so happy. Like, I know that this is not going to leak anywhere, and Wet n Wild is cruelty free and ridiculously cheap. The formula, seriously, is super pigmented, stays absolutely all day. There were four colors, but I only got one because my Walgreens is out. I think I'm going to order more of them because this formula, seriously, is amazing. Wet n Wild, if you're listening, please release, like, a t full permanent line of these liquid lipsticks. They're amazing. Good job. Okay, so I've got some jewelry favorites and a couple more random things, and then we'll be done. First things first for jewelry wise are these bracelets from Rue 21. This one is a pink uh, rose quartz crystal that is just a cute little tiny bracelet. And then this one is just two triangular points that are supposed to be like a kind of fake opal looking things, but they're really cute. I've been wearing them pretty much every day. I wear these with my other crystals that I'm about to show you, a pair of jeans and some combat boots. I think it looks adorable. If I have a photo of me wearing it all together, I'll put it in. I don't think I do though, so sorry. And then I have my crystal chokers, which you guys probably have seen in all of my videos and all my Instagram posts because I'm pretty much wearing them all summer. So they're more like a summer favorite, but I haven't done favorites, so August favorites. I just ordered these off eBay or Etsy. They're pretty cheap. Um, I think like the black one I think I got for 99 cents. This one I think was like three bucks because it is more like a patterned crystal. But And then I just tie them up on each side to determine like which length I want it to be so that they can I, I can wear multiple of them at once and they will actually stack nicely like waterfall type thing like this one has four knots on each side that one only had two so this one sits much higher I absolutely love crystals onyx is one of my alternate birthstones and I love it and then that I have no idea what that was but it was pretty and then this is another rose quartz which is for love combat boots I mentioned these are the rue 21 combat boots I got these uh, right around my birthday, they have the two buckles, a little zipper pocket here, and then the lace-up, but you don't need to do any of that to put them on. There's actually a zipper just right down the side. These were pretty reasonable. I think these were $29, um, maybe even $19.99. They were not expensive, that's for sure. You guys know how much I love Rue 21. Um, <laughs> it was actually really, really funny. I went in there and the ladies were like, oh my god, it's you! We haven't seen you in so long! Where have you been? And I'm like, Hi. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you know, we follow you on Instagram and we've watched your YouTube videos. So it's awesome. Shout out to those guys if you're watching. Hi. Uh, really made my day, seriously. And then the other thing, um, Bath and Body Works type stuff. They just released all their fall scents. So I've got leaves that are burning in this, little cold, in this little holder over here. If you watched my um, um, Christmas in August haul, you would see that I got this little candle holder actually from a thrift store so and it happens to fit perfectly though it is not supposed to be for Bath and Body Works but it fits perfectly and it's got a moose and trees so I use it. Leaves definitely I understand the obsession now I didn't at the beginning I did not understand why everyone loved this scent but I loved it so much that I bought a full-size candle and also one of their little like room sprays I actually keep this in my car and just like once or twice a week spray my car the inside of my car down so it smells amazing 
yeah, I'm really into fall. And then the other one, the other candle I've been obsessed with is the flannel one that I bought. Seriously amazing. I have not made it into Bath & Body Works since their fall pumpkin line launch. Apparently there's like 20 new cents. I really need to go in there and get some pumpkin stuff because I'm dying without it. A couple other quick random things. Favorite TV show is definitely Stranger Things. My friend Theo texted me and was like, have you seen Stranger Things? Because if you haven't, you have to watch it. And so I binged it in like two days. I watched the full season with me and my sister. Um, definitely a fantastic show. If you have Netflix, you should watch it. A little bit creepy though, so if you're creeped out, maybe maybe skip it. I don't know how you do with creepy things, but it was good. It was definitely good. And then uh, favorite book has been The Iliad and The Odyssey. I went ahead and bought this on the same day I bought the Bath and Body Works candles, whenever that was. Um, I absolutely love these stories and it was so cheap, like $7.98. Like what? Like that's just incredible. Um, that's like the price of a paperback book and it's a nice hard, hard cover book. And I am that far into it. I'm a really fast reader though, so I mean, this is actually not so impressive for me. I, <laughs> I burn through books like crazy. If you have any good book recommendations for me, please leave them below. I don't really do audiobooks, but I do do book books. I have like three bookcases in my house that are completely full. Okay, and I think that is actually everything. I'm going to try to keep myself on schedule here. Super long day. Going to finish this, go edit it, and try to get it up today or tomorrow. I love you guys so much. If you have any recommendations for me, beauty-wise, anything-wise, leave me a comment down below. Or if you, especially if you have any video requests, please put it in the put it in a comment below or tweet me or find me on Instagram, whatever, however you want to talk to me, that's fine. I would love to know what kind of videos you guys want to see. So if you have any recommendations, please leave them below. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.